Welcome everyone to the Predator Arena, located in the Rio All Suites Hotel and Casino. CSI presents the 2016 U.S. Open 8-Ball Championships. We're in the final day of the tournament, and we're sitting here with Jay Helfert and myself, George Teichea. Jay? Well, we've got a good match here. This is loser's side. The loser will be eliminated in fourth place. It's 2,600. The winner continues on to play Jesse Bowman next, guaranteed third place, 4100 So this match is worth a smooth $1,500. You all recognize the man at the table, Shane Van Boning. He is the man in the United States in the world of billiards. His opponent, not as well known, but believe me, he's known by his peers, Josh Roberts, a very dangerous player out of Toledo, Ohio. He just won his last match against Mike DeShane. Uh, beat him handily, 9-4, and played exceptionally well in the process. Shane just came off of a match with Mark Kane, and that match went hill-hill. Uh, he was trailing, I believe, 8-7, and uh, Amar broke dry, and here we go with uh, Shane breaking the balls. But Shane came back and won the match. See you what he does here. He broke the balls, made one. You think Shane's going to double dip him this week? I mean, he's already won the U.S. Open 10 ball championship for 10 grand. This one's worth 11. Just think, you win the U.S. Open 10 ball and the U.S. Open 8 ball championships in six days. That's quite a feat. Well, if there's anybody that could do it, it'd be this man right here. Mm -hmm. Well, he's the only one that could do it because he won the 10 ball. Yeah. So, exactly. Well, he's off and running. He looks like he's going to take swipes, and he's shooting the 10 ball first. Wanted to get See around that 11 ball. He didn't want to bump it. Well, yes, he did. Probably take the the 12, you think? He'll look around. He'll weigh his options. He'll weigh his options here. Shane's path here. Well, let's take a look at what he's done. Yeah, Other than take the 12 and then take the 12 and then get the 11, I think. Mm -hmm. No, he's going down here for the 14 next. I guess he'll get get the 11 next go up for the 11 save that side pocket for the last ball would you think uh, the eight ball goes to either pocket on the bottom so he can go to either side of the table and have a good shot on it uh, I would think he might save that last la that um, yeah the ball for for the end yes you know, want to be pretty much just straight in on this or you can just roll to the rail and have the eight ball straight in to the right side. Just draw the cue ball back mm -hmm. about maybe a foot. That'll work right there. He made quick work of this first rack. Yes, he did. He broke the balls very nicely and just proceeded to, to run out. Game number one will go to... Shane Van Boning, well, we zero. You know, George, we know Shane lost his first round match against Taylor Anderson. Correct. He must have won about seven or eight in a <laughs> row by now. Well, let's see. He lost his first one to, to Taylor Anderson, then beat Steve Register, Kyle Pepin, Greg Harada Jr., Chris McDaniel, Shane McMinn, Thorsten Homan. Amar, uh, Francisco Bustamante, exciting match against mm -hmm. Francisco. Another Hill Hill match. Uh, another Hill Hill, and uh, Hill Hill match with the Mark Kane. That's so eight matches in a row here. right now. Whereas, um, <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's quite a bit, huh? He's worked. And he ain't done yet. No, he's not. The winner here is going to proceed to play um, Jesse Bowman. But um, Josh, on the other hand, uh, his first match was uh, Jamal Uzi. Then he also beat Kyle Pepin, Matt Edwards, Francisco, Bust uh, Francisco Bustamante. That's a big win and for him. And then he lost the hot seat match to, uh, or the uh, the match to, uh, yeah, it was the hot seat match to, not, no, it was a match prior to the hot seat, to get to the hot seat, to um, to uh, Rory, Rory Hendrickson, okay. who's sitting so in the hot seat waiting. So Francisco lost both his matches to these, these two guys right here. Mm -hmm. They put him out. Mm -hmm. Francisco's match was a heartbreak for him. Well, Josh broke the balls there. Pretty much wide open. We've got some problem balls. All in the solids, it looks like. You'll see. Josh doesn't waste any time either. Nope. He plays at a pretty quick pace. He takes one look, sees what needs to be done, and gets down and fires mm -hmm. away. 
He only missed one ball in his last match. This is wide open. And, and, and not to get out here would be a, a major error. Let's see how he keeps his mm -hmm. composure playing Shane. It's one thing to play Mike DeShane, and it's another one, another thing to play the Shane. <laughs> Little play on words. Good job. Stretching out for Stretching this one. Stretching a little bit, coming up for the 12 in the side. Option for the 9 in the corner. You know, he's got whatever he wants to do. 11 ball be the last ball. If anything, he plays faster than Shane, believe mm -hmm. it or not. One more little stretch here. Yeah, he can reach it, no Just problem. Come over and down. Absolutely perfect speed. Shoot the eight down in the corner next. Correct. Just a little follow shot, and uh, they're making it look like they're practicing. Well, they're practicing for Jesse Bowman. <laughs> Good point. Nice out, Josh. We've got a shootout here. Yes, we do. Uh, we'll, we'll watch these guys. Let's see if this continues throughout the match. It hasn't in any of the other matches, but um, uh, watching them both practice, they are both breaking the balls, making the ball, all controlled, um, and running out. George, are you aware that they swapped this table out last night? At midnight, yes. Yeah. Uh, so this is a different table than the one was in here before. Mm -hmm. This one has, a, has had a little less play on it. Uh, they played the first match, and then they re-leveled it a little bit. It was just off by a hair uh, after the first match, or during the first match, and then this is re-leveled. Didn't come into play, but this was re-leveled prior to this match. This table breaks real good. The balls break. If you remember, last couple days, that table we were they were playing on, mm -hmm. there were a lot of, con lot of congestion after the break. This table seems to be breaking wide open. Um, the cloth is a little newer, so it hasn't yeah. been as used as much as the uh, as the other table. Hasn't seen as much play, so that's probably the reason for it. Well, Could I have a the theory reason. too, and my theory is, no two pool tables are the same. And and that's, and that's a very good theory. I mean, with diamond tables, uh, there it's as consistent as tables can be because there's no three slates around. It's all one piece slate. It's all wood, though. Mm -hmm. And well when it's wood, you know, there, there there's a variance. There's always going to be a little variance. Yeah, Shane's broken the balls. And nice wide open break here. He's weighing his options here. The only problem ball really is the 10 and the 7. By the side pocket. Mm, by the side pocket there on the bottom of your screen. And uh, looks like he's opting to take the stripes. He'd like to shoot this 11 off the edge of the 10. Let's see. Good call. He did it too. He does. He opened them up just like that. Yeah, he ends up with the 14 in the side pocket. Or he can go downhill, or up table, excuse me, to the to the 12. Key shot is probably either the 9 or the 10. 12 ball next. Very well done. He'll probably come to the two balls on the right next. That's what he's looking at. You know, you know, maybe it's my way of playing eight ball, but I get those oh. two balls down table and then come up table, but that's not the way he does it. That's what I thought he was going to do. Yeah. But then I don't think we saw that one on the rail on the right. Very interesting. Right where he put his chalk down, there's another stripe. So the ten ball is going to be his key ball. Mm-hmm. Or is it? Not anymore. He's going to play it now, I think. So the 13 ball. Interesting. I guess it can be either one, really. But he's playing it, and it's his choice. Yep, it's going to be the 13. Because I don't see him shooting the 13 coming back down in this area where he is now. To don't get to most the yeah, this excuse ball. me. Don't most players, though, they get the balls down table and save one or two up close to the eight usually? They usually save the one that's going to lead lead to the eight ball with a stop shot, yes. See, look at him. He's going he's to run it. He yeah. has to run it, and his angle is, he's well, his angle, he's straight in. He might draw Looks it. straight in. He yes. might draw the ball back. Yeah, he's, he's sucking it back. Nicely done. 
kind of slid it over to the side. Yes, he did. He didn't. He didn't draw. I think that side pocket just so you know he chose not to draw it. Yeah, Shane's looking pretty, pretty good here on this run. I mean, he took his time on that eight ball. It's Shane. Dude, well, we we've seen three games, three perfect runouts. Right. And it'll look like this with players of this caliber. You'll see run out, run out, run out, and then all of a sudden something will up will jump the jump devil. Up so jumps the devil. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Joss is breaking that next, so um, we'll see if he continues the trend. But uh, the, this table does seem to break a little better than the other one. We haven't seen the balls fly up to the corner pocket, upper right hand corner, where they seem to you know not be cue balling most of the time. That happened a right, lot. That happened right. a lot with the table. So well, Mike um, DeShane did scratch once in the first match here. Mm -hmm. He broke dry quite a bit, didn't he? He broke dry yeah. three times. That oh. was that was a little brutal. Yeah, we're not seeing it. We're not seeing it here. So it must uh, it must Mike might uh, do well to watch these two guys break if he comes back to play. Well, Mike table. was breaking them wide open. He just couldn't make a ball. Yeah. Whereas on the other hand, Josh break, br Josh's break was pretty effective. Yeah, let's watch let's it. see if he can let's continue. He's got a spot right here yeah. that he likes. He has a spot and Shane has a spot, and they pretty much know where they're going with it. And they hit it dead center. Made a ball on the side. I did notice that the two balls from behind the head ball are going to the side pocket for both players. It's one, sh it's one or the other. Two and balls uh, down. Open table, though. And, and, and go either way. There's nothing. Nothing uh, seems to look like a problem. So now it's just a matter of execution. And um, what do you think he'll take here? The solids or the stripes? Well, I like he's taking stripes. Yeah, he's taking stripes. Yeah, of course, stripes. whatever I say, he's going to take the opposite. <laughs> Don't ask me that again, please. Okay. <laughs> you only make me look bad. Yeah, his only <laughs> hard shot, really, if he, he chooses uh, stripes, is this one right here. And, uh, you know, that led right to it. And so now it's not a problem whatsoever. Side pocket mm -hmm. for this ball. Mm -hmm. Did he go a little further than he wanted to? I though? think so. I think he has. Although on this on this angle, on this uh, from this angle, it looks like he's okay. He can just roll forward just a bit and have the 13 next. Uh, but well he'll choose which ball. You know, he'll choose which ball to shoot next. And he has taken the 13. He did get there on that. Yep, he sure did. Uh, he'll probably slide around and shoot the shoot the 11 in the same pocket. Oh, he's gonna, yes. He's well, asking he may shoot the 10 on the side. He was asking it to hoe, so he was playing it there. Oh, and wait, he can't shoot that can't 10 shoot on the, the side. 10 he's got to shoot the 11. He's committed to the 11, you know. He's going to have to stretch out over these balls. Tucks his shirt in. He doesn't want to move yeah, those balls down there and foul. If he moves two balls, it's a foul, right? That's correct. Yeah, if he moves one, it's not. But if he moves two, it is. Well, this is the hardest shot he's had. I he's like the way he hit this. Way around, per yeah. Perfect yeah. position, mm -hmm. too. He really knows this table. That was actually a very good shot uh, because if he s shoots it soft and tries to hold the 10, you know, he might not come up. He might miss the ball. That was a very nice shot and produced the perfect results. And we're tied at two. Hey, George, those are the four fastest games I've seen all week those <laughs> right are, there. Yeah, those are also four break and run outs yeah. in a row consecutive by both players. So um, that looked really good. I mean, this is you're watching professional pool. You're watching at the highest at level. At the highest level, exactly. Loser here is settles for fourth place. The winner will play Jesse Bowman at uh, 3 o'clock. You know, most of these guys would be satisfied for fourth place in this tournament. That's a really high finish in a quality 63-player field. Mm -hmm. But the one guy racking the balls, he <laughs> he's not happy with anything less than first. I don't think the guy sitting in the chair would be either. I well, think if I've come this no, far and playing yeah. well. Don't get me wrong, but if you asked him at the beginning of the tournament if he'd be if he'd be glad to get fourth place, he'd probably say, "Sure, I'd love it." Well, you know, I, I don't think anybody wants it more than Shane right now because he wants to win the U.S. Open ten ball and the U.S. Open eight ball championship in six days. Now, you mentioned that uh, this, he's not had a very good year. 
up till now. Up till now, <laughs> exactly. So, well, I mean, he had he's actually he's had a decent year for anybody else, but not for him. Mm -hmm. He's only mm -hmm. got one title this year. All he's right. got a couple second places, which he mentioned to me, but we're used to say Shane winning seven or eight times a year. Exactly, and I mean how. how how great would it feel to fix that right now in six days? And, you know, we're only three weeks away from the U.S. Open um, Bar Table Championship. Excuse me, the U.S. Bar Table Championship. Eight ball, nine ball, and ten ball. That's the That'll third be week. back in here in Vegas. That's the third week of August, right? Third week of August at the Westgate Hotel. That's August 22nd through 28th. And uh, I'll tell you what, Shane will be back for that one. Well... He's looking to run this out and uh, keep the streak uh, and, you know, move it to three breaking runs in a row for a total of five. Hope we don't jinx him with that. Uh, this guy's kind of jinx-proof. <laughs> I, I don't want someone to say I'll commentate his curse. Beautiful shot there. Laid that cue ball mm -hmm. right where he wanted it. No, he'll probably play this uh, that 15 ball in the middle of the table, the stripe in the middle of the table, above the side pocket, in that side. No, he's coming this way. Yeah, he's playing the 15. Huh? Nine. Looks good so far, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It look, looks perfect so far. The nine ball or the thirteen will be the last last ball he plays prior to the eight. But that that can change after this shot right here. He tapped that one yeah. just right. Yes. This looks like home run team. derby with these two guys shooting. Wow. That's the first time, I think, in the booth that we've seen five consecutive racks run, break and run outs. It, absolutely. In eight ball. Mm -hmm. And they're not done yet. No. I'll tell you what, this audience, we got a packed house here. They're enjoying <laughs> it. <laughs> yes, they are. I hope you're enjoying it out there. If you're out there, if you're up in your room, come watch this live. Well, uh, you can watch it in the room as well on right. Channel 25. That's why I said come watch it live. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, it's fantastic to have that in the room, have access to it. And, and when the live match isn't playing, they have the, the, the replays. Somebody told Looking me that worked here, they've been watching the matches in the administrative offices as well. Oh, wow. On the in-house, you know, televisions. Mm-hmm. Well, here we are at the Predator Arena. The official chalk is Predator. The official uh, queue is Predator. Omega Billiards, the official store, is being played on diamond tables, Simona's cloth with Cyclops tournament balls. So um, it's top-level equipment in every aspect from these top-level players. What more would you ask? Did you call them Cyclops or Cyclop? I thought I said Cyclops. I do too, but Freddie corrected me. He it's said they're Cyclop. Cyclop. Yeah, and, and look at the logo on the left there. The, the logo is Cyclop. So good correction. Thanks for correcting me. That doesn't sound right, though, does it? Cyclop? I said, wait a second. It's balls, not ball. I said, there's. It's Cyclop. I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the box on the well floor yeah, there, and it's Cyclop. You're correct. Yeah. Freddie got you good. And you got me good, too. Awesome. Thanks for the correction. We'll try to make that correction. Predator 1080 chalk. And putting this on is Q Sports International. And we're at the Rio All Suites Hotel and Casino in the Convention Center. Josh Roberts is weighing his options. He wants to push the streak of runouts to six. You know, if he's thinking about taking stripes, he'll probably play this nine ball and bump the six to get good on the ten. 
If he bumps the 6, it may block the 8 for later. If he does Doesn't that. look like he's blocking it, though. No, Looks like not. he's just... He's just going to do it yeah. quickly. He's just going to use his speed. That was awesome. Some players like to bump that ball to assure themselves of being there. This 11 ball looks like a, a ball he's got to deal with. I don't think it'll go in the side. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what he's going to do with that ball. Yeah. He's yeah. trying to do something with it right now. Will that ball go in the side pocket? Or down? It's got to go down in the end, but... Well, he's committed to, to shooting it unless he's going to bank the 15 ball, which is the stripe to his right to the right of the cue ball. He looks like he's playing it to the corner. Yeah, he can see enough of it. Wow, it's tight, oh, though. Look at this. Well this is tight. He might have to use a little right English and throw mm -hmm. it to the left. Mm -hmm. He did, too. That's and exactly and what he, he did. Oh, he's in trouble. He's going to have to go down table, he's gonna have to shoot that yeah. 15 ball. He's going to have to come back up and avoid the, the six and the three ball, which is the red and the lime green one. Well, this is, the table. you know, George, this is the first real difficulty we've seen for either player. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Getting to that ball. He does have a shot, though. Yes. But the cue ball may hit the six. Let's see. He missed the ball. Oh, he I, did, I thought yeah. he missed the ball. Well, it looked like he missed it, but now look where he's at. Yep. It's getting harder. Uh, he's going to be uh, back cutting this uh, 13 ball. Going into the top of the 14, and let's see where the cue ball ends up. The shots are getting progressively more difficult. He's, as you like to say, he's scrambling here. Scrambling pretty good so far, but yeah. again, <laughs> look at this. Even more difficult, because now he's jacked up over a ball, and he's going to shoot a combination. Correct. Correct. It got tougher. It got tougher. And that's what happens when you get out of line. And this is more than the test. It would be a hard enough shot if he wasn't jacked up over the one ball. But look at how he's got to shoot this shot. This is this is tough. How do you gauge this shot? Let's see. Just like that. Wow. wow. What a shot. I'll tell you wow, what. what that's as good a shot as I've seen all week. And that's a great shot. You know how difficult that shot was. Looks like he can. Wow, I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm very impressed. Eight ball to tie the match. Great running. <coughs> he kept the streak alive. Six breaking runs in a row. Three well, apiece. I'm not so sure we'll see a better match today than this one right here. I'm going to go out on a limb. And I'll tell you, I'm going to go out on a limb, George. I'm going to say whoever wins this match will go on to win the tournament. That's my prediction. Because they're both playing so well. We haven't seen this yet. Not that we don't have good opponents ahead in Jesse Bowman and Rory Hendrickson, but... I'm pretty impressed with what I'm seeing so far. <laughs> I'm in total agreement. I mean, we've watched six games of perfect pool. There was a little scramble at the end there by Josh. But, wow, that last shot just really came through. And the shot before was no easy, easy task either. There was like three tough shots yeah, in a row. Yeah, right. Oh, wow, Shane makes a ball, but he's got a challenging position. He may have to shoot the nine all the way down in the corner to open this rack. That's what he's going for. It's really the only high percentage shot he has. Nothing's really tied up after that either. Not so sure. Does that uh, 14 ball go past the five down there? Well, that that could be up on top. I yeah. haven't seen that ball. I was looking at all the balls down down table. Where he's at now? He might. I think he was thinking about shooting his 12 
into the five. I you know, I'm not. No, I don't know to clear the pocket. Yeah, he's got yeah, He's, he's got to move that yep. five ball. I, I think you're right. Good call. Watch That's this. Exactly he wants to. Playing. Yeah, he wants to make this twelve off the edge of the five. Well done. That deserves a little bit of round of applause. If the crowd won't give it to him, you I will. will. <laughs> there you go. Good shot. He still got some work to do. He kind of wanted to get an angle to shoot the uh, the uh, what is that the 13. eleven ball and go down table for the fourteen next, but he can't see the eleven, so he's going to have to shoot the thirteen. He's I believe. Shoot thirteen. I yeah. I believe the <coughs> the ten ball, which is right above the thirteen, which is on the spot. I believe that one goes in the side, and he can drift up for that. But I think he'll shoot the the eleven ball. Uh, no, he's prior to that, yeah. Let's he does. He doesn't want to be, you know, traveling the cue ball too much. So let's see how he handles these mm -hmm. last four balls. You're right. Ten yep. ball next. Now he'll, pro he'll probably go up for. Um, go for the fourteen next. You know, because it's gonna it's gonna head that way. It's it's na the natural angle is to go that way. He wants to go by the three, so he doesn't bump it. So he's going to have to go that way. Uh, the other thing he might might do, which I doubt, is the eleven in the corner, then the fourteen. But no, he's going this way all the way. He's going fourteen ball next. Yeah, he had the right uh -huh. angle there. He had the right angle. It set. It, it laid very very nice. This is and the key shot. Is get get good on the eleven ball. And he's done it. Wow. He's done it. Wow. These guys are playing. I mean, look at the position. They're rolling the ball, you know, three feet, two feet, and coming up perfect. And Eight ball for the lead. Shane Van Boning ran his fourth rack in a row. For the seventh rack in a row to be run in this match. Can you and imagine? Seven games played. Can you imagine if we had a 17-game match, 9-8, to eight, and they ran out every single rack? I I've never know. seen anything like that. No, not 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 in a race to nine. I've seen it in short races. I've never seen it in a race to nine. And what do you say? To, what you know? What what do you say to the, to the loser? <laughs> lag better. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> make, make sure you win the lag next time. <laughs> make sure you win the lag. Yeah. Uh, we're watching perfect. We've watched perfect pool so far. May it continue. Guys are I putting see, on the clinic. I see Paul Castine and uh, Kareem Balaj. Kareem mm -hmm. Balaj from uh, Predator mm -hmm. in the audience there. They're wearing their casual oh. wear today. Yes, they are. You know, they probably came off the golf course or something. Is that Paul in the hat? Yeah. Okay. I see a lot of uh, a, a lot of people that we haven't seen in the in the past uh, five days. Well, you're watching uh, a, a great them. match featuring one of the most popular pool players on the planet, Shane Van Boning. He draws a crowd everywhere he goes. And would you call Josh a bit of an unknown? Not an unknown. Not really. uh, maybe a dark horse. And oh. oh, there's the first. There's the first faux pas. First error of the game. If you want to call getting kissed to the head rail and back an air. He had a good break. Made some balls. Yeah, it looked good. First opening from either player. Our referee, John Lehman, very mm -hmm. carefully and removes this magic rack. Mm -hmm. He's having a little trouble removing it, though. Yes, he is. <laughs> He's got it's it. It's important because you don't want to move the ball. It. He's got it. Now he's got to replace this ball. Good job, John. Good ref. Top notch. Top notch. Him and Bill Stock have been working um, working the, the U.S. Open Championships. They've been the only two referees mm -hmm. for the pro arena. Mm -hmm. So Shane's starting out with the four ball. Solid. There's only... Am I right? Is there only four or four solid balls on the table? There's Boy, Josh made a bunch of balls there. 
There is only four solid balls on the table. Josh made four balls on the break. And he has a shot on the four. He has ball in hand, so he has a shot on the four. Mm. This isn't fair, is it? Um, <laughs> well, he didn't scratch. Yeah. His opponent did. Yeah. He'll uh, come straight across, shoot the six ball, and come over for the eight. Wow. He wants an angle. He's got it. He'll come straight across after hit pocketing this lime six. Straight across towards the 11 with the cue ball. A ball in the corner for, for a two-game two game lead, lead and yeah. the break. And the break. Could transcend to a three-game lead. Scratch on the break was um, Josh's undoing there in, in that game. And he's... Um, First player to make an error. First one to flinch, I guess you might say. And it wasn't it like it wasn't like he missed a ball or anything. Just, and no. we've seen over the last few days when you've got this many balls on the table, the cue ball always gets kissed. It does, the majority of the time, and that did get kissed, but it got kissed like pretty hard. Yeah. Went to the head rail from um, from about the side pocket, just above the side to the head rail and back to the side and scratched at a you know pretty sharp angle coming from the head rail unfortunate Shane to break whack there goes the ball to the side there goes another one to the corner two Was balls that another down. one to the side at least two or three balls went down oh Anything a problem? No, everything spread wide open. He made this. He made a solid, and he's made two stripes. Two stripes. So he made three balls on the break, and uh, everything's wide open. There's two solids hanging out of a pocket, pretty much. So let's see what is what he chooses. We've got several options. Taking the solids. Didn't you call that duck soup or something <laughs> like that? Didn't you call that duck well, soup? Well, the opening or? shot, the yeah. Opening shot, yeah. It'll get tougher. Slide. Wow. If you're scoring this like in league, like in BCA league, he has, uh, this will be his fifth, B and R, break and run, and his and he has one E R O. Is it E R O or E R where they where they where they run out after the, the opponent's break? I don't know that one. Yeah, they, they, I they, don't know they, that one. They used to score him that way. All I know is here comes the eight ball. Mm hmm For a six three lead. Shane has yet to miss a ball, and he's yet to make an error. He's played perfect pool. AccuStats would have him at a cool 1,000. 1,000. You got that right. Would that be a cool 1,000 or a hot 1,000? <laughs> In other words, don't get better than this. Josh like to be back up there again, breaking and running out this rack, first and foremost. You've got to get them racked and get them broke successfully. You know, it's got to affect your psyche, George, when you're playing somebody like Shane and it just looks like you're playing against a machine. You know, you, here's a guy that's played really good this match, and mm -hmm. he's down to six to three. Mm -hmm. um, it can become a little disheartening. Like, he's thinking to himself, what can I do? He's played perfect except for one shot. And even the shot that he hit was not bad. It, it was, was a w He it made it four it balls on that yeah. break. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, do you beat yourself up for that? You know? Give yourself a break. He did. Another good break. 
Another that's, good break. That's out in the middle. He made a ball. And he's got options. And again, the, the balls are breaking wide open on this table. And um, both players are breaking similar, but from different sides. Uh, am I correct there? Yeah, they're, the, he, Josh is a little bit to the right, Shane's a little bit to the left to right, center. Right, right. And they're both right-handed, so that wouldn't make a difference as to which side of the table they're breaking from, but apparently they're hitting the same spot on the one ball. Well, I've seen this all day. This table breaks, the balls break good on this table. Mm -hmm. All right, he's going for the solids. Looks like he'll shoot this one and probably get that seven on the mm -hmm. same Slightly bottom the rail here. Right there on the rail, so he can shoot the five ball next. Looks like he's got a yeah. pretty clear path here. It'll be interesting to see how he handles the lime green ball. Oh, he came back. Uh, the lime green ball and the four ball that's in the in the lower right hand corner. Will he shoot the combo or will he shoot the six ball, which is lime green clean to the left side? Well, I think he's got the angle to go mm -hmm. forward and shoot the six in the other corner pocket. Correct. Correct. Something oh. happened there. Oh, you know, they're, they're, they're having a conversation in the crowd. Mm. That's uh, not really cool. No, you called it. He came right over and got perfect on this. Uh, well, gave himself just a little bit of an angle on this uh, six ball for the four ball next. The shape on the, the shape on the eight. I like his game, I'll tell you. Well, he was in the arena... Uh, in the Predator Arena prior to this he's been, he's, game. He's and he been played in here very a few, well. He was in yeah. here for the 10-ball uh, and 8-ball mm -hmm. matches. There it is. Other, other than the scratch on the break, these gentlemen have both played perfect pool. I don't know if you could hear our official John Lehman, but he was admonishing the crowd. If you take pictures, please, no flash pictures. And I think that's what happened. I think somebody took a flash picture when Josh was getting down mm -hmm. to shoot. Uh, I didn't see it, but yes, I. And there's some talking going on over on the right side. Yeah. Everyone's got their phones out, though. <laughs> and he said no Facebook Live or no. None of that. Shane to break. Ahead by two. Wanting to extend the break by and extend the lead to three. One ball down. This is this is the worst break of all. Oh my. Yeah, that's a, there's a big cluster of balls there right where the eight ball is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> John says go ahead and play. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I can't move that. There's that's too many balls too to many move. Balls. There's four yeah. balls inside the magic rack. Something and happened there, and George. He just didn't hit those balls good. It looks like the 15 and the 8 are on the magic rack itself. So well, he doesn't want to move it. Well, Shane has had six perfect racks in a row. I don't know if he can continue that streak with this, with this setup, but let's see. Well, let's he's going to have to break them up. Yes. Those are all stripes. Mm-hmm. So do you think he'll take solids? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have an opening shot on, on a stripe. Yeah, he's got to take solids here. Unless this, that way, uh, the only ball he really has to break out is the eight. Right. Correct. That's yeah. what Shane's thinking about. What's my break ball? And he can do that off the five when he comes across. He's going to shoot the three first. You know, but I mean, prior to the five on the right side there. Well, the we'll threes. see. We'll see. I think we'll s we'll see shortly mm -hmm. how he's going to break that out. Yeah, he won't take too much time in doing this, but he, he might take his time because it's troubling down there. He took his time figuring it out. Mm -hmm. Look at this. He's going right for the three next to clear that. So might he, he may use the two ball. May, I, was just, I was about to say he might slide down a little bit and use the two. There it is. Yes, he will. He used the two. He Probably wants to bump that 12 ball. Yes. Just the 12. And just barely. Yeah, see that? See where he's putting his cue? Just barely move the eight. He doesn't want to hit it too hard. Just like barely. Kind of like medium speed. And he's got to be assure himself of sliding further up for the five or the one. Well, he's got a lot of safety balls there. Wow, that didn't work too good. Yeah. What happened? 
The eight didn't go anywhere. I think it worked enough. I think the I no. think the nine goes to the corner. The nine? I mean the eight. We're playing that ball. I think it goes by those balls. Well, no, I don't no, know. No, no, he's shaking his head. He's no. not happy with that. Yep. I don't know what happened there, but, the, you know, George, the eight kind of stayed on that magic, that magic rack. rack yes. It kind of held the yes. ball. And, and that's if the magic rack had been removed, it might have moved a little further. Good point. And maybe he should have uh, taken that into consideration to hit it a little bit harder. Well, he might do it now. Let's see. Yeah. He tried. Ooh, he, he tried, tried to hit it. He tried. I think the magic rack is what cost him there. This is yeah. a break for Josh. The Big balls break. do the balls do adhere to it a little bit. Mm-hmm. Well, the fact that when the ball runs over it, the the rack moves tells right. you that it impedes the, the It's the sticking. It's sticking or it uh, it could change the path of the ball. Well you Real saw the, it the eight kind of moved and then it kind of rested back. back. Mm -hmm. It rocked back. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at this. I think the 8 will go. That's yes, what I, I think, I think so. the 12 moved it. No, wait a second. Here goes. Let's see. Well, the 8 will definitely go in the side. Yes. Yeah, it doesn't look like it will go in the corner unless they're not kissing. Well, let's see. Let's see. Let's see where, where Shane goes and looks at it. He's going to mm -hmm. come take a looky here. He says, hmm. Hmm. He's looking to see if he... Well, he's got two balls that will lead him to the eight. Which one does he choose to shoot last? If it goes to the left-hand corner past the 12, he chooses th he'll, ch he'll shoot the seven last. If it doesn't, he'll probably shoot the, well, the, probably the seven last both ways to get down for the side. I think it only goes in the side. That's why he hasn't really mm -hmm. taken a good look mm -hmm. at it. He knows that already. The eight only goes in the side. Yeah, see? Yeah, he That's the position he just played. That's right. He played the angle to come down to the left side of the table by the corner pocket. This is a little tricky position here because he's the cue ball tracks towards the lower corner pocket. He's got to hold his angle and avoid that pocket when the cue ball goes down table. Shane's being very careful with this shot, taking his time. He knows there's danger lurking ahead. <laughs> well, if he doesn't, if he doesn't uh, come off that ball enough, he could he could bump a ball. If he comes by too much, he can scratch. If he goes by way too much, he's got a rail to save him. This is the kind of shot where you you also also got to remember to make the ball. Yes. Sometimes guys get so focused on position they forget to make the ball. Let's see. Good shot. I think he, he's okay. Not great. He's okay. He'd like to have had the cue ball come. Yeah, he'd like the cue ball to come up a little bit higher. But he can make the eight in the side. Needs to make a good shot here. Can he continue his perfect run? Good view. Mm-hmm. He did it. Yes. He did it. Yes. Is it cue ball? No, it's not. Gonna, I don't. Cue Wait ball. Wait a second. Boy, that ball kind of. It got there. It, it was got curving. There. It you scratched. know, it was looked like it was curving <laughs> a little bit towards the pocket. Uh, it was headed in that direction. In fact, I think it it, it went very straight. But yeah, it, it might have. But it. it um, you uh, like the way he broke that ball out? He yes. just crashed it. He yes. just crashed the yes. pack. He was a little bit fortunate there because that cue ball could have got anywhere on that shot. Yes, it did, and it went all over the place, and ended up with a great, in a great, in a great location. Gave him a great shot. That was a great scramble. That was a very creative out, and not an easy one by no. any means. Which extends his uh, what seven runouts in a row. Seven in a row. Well, one was uh, one was off a break where he only had to run four balls, but still he ran out. On the scoreboard, at seven. He's played seven perfect wrecks. Mm -hmm. That was by far the toughest one right there, though. Let's put it this way. He's still at 1,000. That's right. He's still at 1,000. And Josh is really the bad break. The scratch on the break has been the difference in these three games.
11 games have been played, only one mistake. Another good break by Josh Roberts. All these balls are on the right side of the table. This is about the biggest cluster he's left. But they're really not tied up. Exactly. He's got room to operate. I think he's going to open with the stripe. I totally agree. His only tough only tough one is the 13. Well, they could all be tough if you don't get on them right, but he's going to take that first? No, I don't think. I'd be surprised if he did because you, you don't control the cue ball as well that way. I think he's going to take that 11 ball first mm -hmm. from the side. Mm -hmm. He's there now for the 13, though. Josh Roberts has not given up on this match by any means. Oh, no. No, he, he's just waiting for, for Shane's drive He's break. taking the 13. Yeah. Oh, well, now he's not sure again. <laughs> this opens it all up for him. And he can come all the way down if he chooses to the shoot the 12 next. Or he can try to play position on the 11 or the 14. I'm going to show the two, stri two stripes right by the spot. Well, if he takes he's changed his mind. Yeah. He's going with the 11. I'm not surprised. He's going to save that 13 for last ball, possibly. <coughs> I don't. I will, let's watch. Unless he gets it right now, he's going to get it right yes. now. He, he likes his position a little better. Mm -hmm. Although he wouldn't, he didn't want to be on the no. rail, but he's okay because he's got an angle. It's the same angle he had a second ago, before he not shot really. the balls. No? Not really. No, this is this is Tougher? not nearly as severe Tougher an angle. angle. Before he was tracking right towards the side pocket. Okay, that's probably why he didn't shoot it. Well, he's going to come inside the three ball here with a bit of right spin. Like the way he did that. Mm-hmm. Boy, look at that. And he just yeah. laid that ball right in front of the side pocket. He'll just follow to the left and get on the, try to get straight in on this ball. Let's see. I can't tell you how impressed I am with this guy's game. What a beautiful player he is. He's known, and he's kind of got a reputation as a great one pocket player, but let me tell you something. This guy can play all games. <laughs> he's showing it. Um, he had a good run in the in the ten ball. Yeah, he had a good run in the ten ball, and he's um, stayed alive here. Josh lost to he lost the match to get into the hot seat. So it was either Jesse Bowman or Rory. He lost to Rory Hendrickson. Right, the gentleman that's in the. Uh, I think the that house was a hill hill match. Yeah, too. It was a, a, a the house pro from Fargo. And that's our Fargo rate that we're using. Mm -hmm. Down below there, they make Shane a 90% favorite to win this match. Yes, R Rory works with Mike Page on the Fargo rate, and he works for him. He's um, his house pro. The largest pool hall, bar pool hall in the country. In the, in the United States. I think he's got 100 yeah. tables. Wow. And I believe he plays league seven nights. Big break from Shane, Want, wanting to extend his perfect, perfect pool, perfect match so far. Could we see a perfect match of eight ball race to eight? I don't think I've ever seen it at this tournament. Mm -hmm. um, I think he takes solids. would be my guess and at this point of course it's only a guess he's looking around he's looking at the nine ball intently you know Shane has a lot of respect for his opponent here he knows that he cannot make a mistake even though he's played perfect so far one error, and all of a sudden, this match could be tied. Mm -hmm. 
Well, it's, been, it's only had one error, and he leads by two. So. Okay, really studies this <laughs> rack. <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's, it can, get, it can choose either, either or, the stripes or the solids. The wheels are turning in his head. Mm -hmm. He's leaning towards the stripes, but weighing all his options. Yes, he is. It's like a chess master figuring out the board. It must be a really close call for him to take this long. It is, because he just doesn't like how he's going to come off of this ball. It's a thin, thin, thin it's cut a thin here. cut, and he's got to play the four ball next. Better cut this thin, buddy. That was, ooh. He I knew that was not as easy as it looked. Mm -hmm. He almost hung that one up, George. Well, we saw another player hang, hang a ball similar to that. And oh, they'll, they'll hang in those the they'll hang in those jaws. Yep. They'll hang halfway over yep. that pocket, the lip of that pocket. I think he comes through here and probably shoots the one ball next. Oh, he's a little tight on that four ball. I've got a perfect angle of it from here. He's a little tight. It doesn't look as open as it looks on the on the monitor. Yeah, it looks like he might be forced to shoot the three next. He's, uh, if, he, if he is, then he's thinking, do I want to shoot the four after that mm -hmm. or do I want to draw down? Let's see if he draws all the way down for the three or the one. He's just going to come off a little bit. So yeah, he's, he's not as tight. He was, he was tight. That 15 ball uh, worried him. Well, it was partially in the way. Mm -hmm. and that's where he wants to be. Doesn't want to bump the five. Thank you, Shane, for showing us. <laughs> Let's see. Now, watch where he put his Q-tip. Let's see where the cue ball ends up. He's leading us. Is that what he's doing? If he gets there, he can choose to shoot the two or the one. You are watching a master pool player at work. We don't see anybody quite as methodical as Shane, but he's... He's got a method to everything he's doing. He might have gone too far. It's close. I think he can shoot the one though. Mm -hmm. He went about. He's about an inch above where he where he was putting his cue down. Oh, he wanted to get on the two. That's why he wanted to be there. But he's all right. If he makes it, and he did. Mm-hmm. Ooh. He'll probably just stop this or just fall forward a hair. How does he want to come to the eight ball? Maybe just draw his, straight back. No, he might. Rail, come straight back or he doesn't window. mind drawing straight back. He's got a he's got such an accurate draw stroke. Mm -hmm. so he may just get straight that. in on the one. Taking one more look <laughs> just to be sure. He's not taking any chances no, here. No, not at all. And if he comes two rails with the cue ball for position, he has to come close to the side pocket. He's oh, he's, yeah, he's, he's opted to go off rail. the rail. Probably a little safer this way. Yeah. Let's see how Let's his speed is coming yep, up table. Yep. He did come two, and he did come. He's within the diamonds. That's perfect. He's playing perfect pool. Continues to play. Eight racks in a row with this perfect eight ball. Pool. Correct. Even that one he hit very gently. He's played eight racks. He's completed eight racks and has played perfect. Corey Duell on the sidelines on the sidelines watching. The one player that I see. Boy, I'll tell you, Shane at his best looks a little different than any other pool player, at least in this country. <laughs> you got to go to Asia to find somebody that plays like this. He's he is definitely, in my opinion, George, he is a notch above the rest of the American players. Well, 
his Fargo Fargo rate um, attest to that. And so do I. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, if there's a guy that's one speed below him, it's this guy here and maybe gaining on him. He's only made one mistake himself. Yeah. Just the, the and actually it was a good break, like I said, and it got bumped in. This guy is a is a very worthy competitor, let's just say that. Look at the balls just leaking le leak into these pockets. How many did he make that time? I think he made four <laughs> more balls. Well, let's see this. Count them. There's uh He made five. five. He made five balls. Oh my god. What wow. a break. What a break. Josh Roberts says, if I'm ever going to beat Shane Van Boning, I'm just going to have to pick it up a speed. He made he made four four solids and one strike. <laughs> he's going to run three solids and the eight ball to get out here. Four solids. No, you, he's got to make four solids. Where's the other one? There's, There's the three the more out there. N no. Oh, yeah. There's that one and that one, and that's this is it right here. And he's on the eight oh, ball. Oh, that's the 15 ball. Yeah. That yeah. Ball. You're right. He made four, <laughs> he made solids. four solids oh in one God. strike. Oh, my God. That's not fair. <laughs> uh, he picked the short road. You know, this is why Shane's taking so long, because he sees how good Josh Roberts is playing. Mm -hmm. There you wow. go. Wow. Wow. This what a match. What yeah, a match. This crowd is very appreciative of a perfect match being played. Only error was a scratch on the break. Tell you what. What a match. Uh, I, you got it. Doesn't get any better than this. Wow. What can you say to this? Bravo. Bravo. <laughs> Very yeah. good. Staying to break. He just needs one more break and run to win the match. It's a race to nine. What a performance you're seeing. The winner of this match will meet Jesse Bowman and then in a race to nine. And then the winner of that match will move on to uh, play Rory Hendrickson, a race, a single, ra an extended race to 11. Single set final. Single set final. Can Shane make it a perfect nine racks? Yeah, the next match here will be at three. The final match will be at 530. What a feat that would be. Oh, wow. I've never seen it. Not an eight ball. Now the ball break. down. And we've got a little cluster of balls by the rack. This is, you know what it'd be? It'd be like a 300 game in bowling. Yes. Yes. Uh, Maybe harder. I was going to say. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> harder. Maybe harder to, to, to run nine racks of eight ball in a row. Um, this is another tough rack like he had before. Game. Just. This is another tricky rack. Although, he, this looks actually good. The, the solids look very runnable. He can play this four ball, come over for the five, head upstream, and it all opens up. You know, you take another look at it, he doesn't have to break anything out. No. That's what, you know, no. He just got to play perfect position. Let but him take his time now, just like he did last rack. Well, this time I think he knows he's taking solids. There's no question about it. Last time there was some doubt in his mind. Well, if he takes stripes, he has to contend with a 12 ball up by the 6 in the upper right-hand corner. No chance. The lime green this ball in the stripe. This time I'll go out on a limb and say he's taking solids. Mm -hmm. well, I, li I, I, I like the solids all the way here. Because like I said How could you not? <laughs> he has several ways to get to the left side of the table for the 5. And he's that's going one of five he's going now. for right now. And he's leaving the four ball for his key ball. So he just makes it and stops it and has the eight ball in the lower, lower left. Can, and, uh, he, can he complete wow. a perfect performance? Wow. I'll tell you what, if this match ends up on YouTube, there's going to be thousands of people watching this one. Mm -hmm. They'll be writing about this match. Yeah, perfect nine ball. Perfect, perfect eight, eight ball. ball. I'm sorry. <laughs> he's not done yet, though. No. No. I've seen guys stumble at the finish line. Although, you know, when you're out there, I don't know if he knows that he's played a perfect match. Probably not. Because he's, not. you know, George, he's so focused. You're a pool player. You know, you get so focused on playing, you don't really know. Mm -hmm. What am I doing here? Oh, no, you don't know who's in the crowd. You don't, at, this level, at this point, he doesn't know who's around him. 
He's not even looking. He all he sees is three and a half by, by seven. seven. That's your it's universe. All That's, That's your it. universe. That's all he sees. All your focus, a hundred percent of your focus, is within the perimeter of this table. I'd like to see Shane do it. What yes, an accomplishment! I, I'm with what you. an achievement! It'll be the first time I've seen it. And he's there. Well, he's not done yet. He's no, not done yet. This four ball. He may have to go forward and shoot the eight in the side. Um, no, he'll try to get pretty straight in on this shot. I don't think he'll get much of an angle on it, but he'll get about, about where he is now. Oh, come across the table? No, he's just gonna. He's just gonna shoot. It. He he could if he. Where does he? Where is he gonna shoot the eight? Either corner. Oh, it'll go in both corners. Yeah, it'll go in both corners. Well, then he's he's a nice position then, isn't he? Yes. Look, he's taking his time here. He's yes. taking his time. He's not rushing this shot. He knows this is for the match. Normally not a difficult shot, but Shane took a little extra time. He, he collected himself. It. He collected himself. This is it. This, this is, is it right it. here. A perfect match. Perfect a match. perfect 1,000. Nine racks in a row. Shane what Van a Boney. performance. Wow. Well oh deserved hand. Oh, well my God. Well deserved hand. That is a champion right there. Great match by Josh Roberts as well. Wow. All right, we're going to take a short break. We'll be back at 3 o'clock. Shane will be playing Jesse Bowman.